it's Shelney Enriquez and welcome to day three of our 12 days of giveaways. I'm here with Matthew Tasca of Burnt Vibes and he's going to show us some of his amazing creations. You're definitely going to want to stick around for this. having me over. Matthew. No problem. I really appreciate it. I'm a really big fan of all of your things. I saw them at Grand Door, and so thanks for having me in. Tell me a little bit about things that you make. No problem. Everything wood. I enjoy working with wood and epoxies. So I do a lot of charcuterie boards. I do everything from mass cooks to my lake boards and all sorts of little art pieces in between. I just like being creative. Well, you're very, very good at what you do. I had picked up, I think, one of the Christmas ornaments that you had made with the engraving on them. Those were quite beautiful. I have done many, many Christmas ornaments this season. Yeah. It's been the season of my 2020 ornament. Yes. It has been very popular, which is mainly available at Barn Door, but I do sell privately as well. Yeah, so when people are interested, what's usually the best way for them to get a hold of you? You can message me directly through Instagram or Facebook. Okay, so tell me, what is your favorite thing to make? My favorite thing to make really are my lake boards because I've done pretty close to 100 this year and just finding all these new lakes that people are asking me to do from mostly all over Ontario, but I get some in different countries. I've gone and done some that are our countries. I have Scotland and Ireland and South Africa. I get to wow. learn a bit of geography too in the process. That's really neat. Yeah. So you have to look up and you kind of get the layout of the map, is that? How it works. Yep, I get the lake and then just get the outline of it. And I have learned that Ontario, there is many lakes that are named the exact same. Oh, so, really? so I always have to confirm with the client to make sure, is this your sugar lake? Oh. Or is this your sugar lake? Oh, wow. Or is this your sugar lake? Because we have so many lakes, they had to double up on some names. Wow, that's so interesting. I love the mass cooks too, like the, for your dog and everything. Like those are all really awesome. Early in doing the markets, I learned that everybody loves dog hooks. So I have many different sayings and do different sizes, multiple hooks for those families with multiple dogs. Yeah. And yeah, I had a whole table full of all these bottle openers and everybody was just dog hook, dog hook, dog hook. So you gradually learn your market. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Matthew, your cutting boards are very beautiful and I love this resin look that you have here. Can you tell me a little bit more about those? I do a lot of epoxy river charcuterie boards. This one here is olive. It's super hardwood, but has such beautiful character to it. But I do some more exotic like the olive. I do an awful lot of walnut and most of the wood that I do get is all Ontario wood. Sort of shopping local as well. Yeah, that's amazing. So I get from a number of places just in the Southern Ontario. It's just neat getting all the different character in them. Some of them have just really nice grains and some just have nice transfer of like light to dark and then adding the resin there's a nice cherry with a merlot into one of the knots which just really it pops very beautiful i think like i can see you know especially around the holidays that's a beautiful gift to give somebody or just even now if it's like you're staying at home have like a nice charcuterie board for, for dinner, right? With a glass of wine. Definitely, and I also engrave other images, much like my lake. I have maple leaves. I've done snowflakes as well, seasonal. Yeah, I love that. You can even do personalization, right? If somebody wanted to have like their family or their friends or something like that. Most definitely. Yeah. That's I can personalize any board. All right, so we're gonna look at how you actually engrave things here, right? Yeah. I'm gonna show you how I just do one of my ornaments. So I have a bunch of stock images that I use, but also I do custom, if somebody's looking for something personal or just have a family name. So I just recently had a request for a Muskoka chair. So I have input it, I've done my how big, I'm gonna put it onto my ornament, fit it to my screen, and then I just set it to go and then as easy as clicking and we are going in the other room here. Normally 
Normally the hood would be down just for safety. Yeah. But just. So you can get a better look at it. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. And it smells good too. <laughs> yes. That's one thing I have to watch. You see all these really nice barn boards that have been hundreds of, like, out in the field for a hundred years, but you don't know what they've painted or oiled it. So I try not to do stuff like that because it is exhausted yeah. out, but still you don't want to be breathing some of this oh, stuff. Yeah. Any image. Any type of image, and you can put it on there. That is so lovely. What a nice idea. Do these come as coasters too, or like what else do you do? I, I have done coasters as well. This is actually my second laser. My first laser was this 1.6 watt and had a very limited workspace. Then I upgraded to this almost a year ago, which has a giant workspace and is 60 watts so I can go nice and fast with more intensity. Wow, that is really cool. I actually, I had really no idea how it was done so it's really interesting to see how it's made. Do you find images then or can they send you an image? People can send me an image if they're looking for something. I'll search the net or try to design something myself. And there we go. Wow. Very cool, I love that. Someone's gonna be very happy. Definitely. <laughs> That's nice, so fun for your Christmas tree. Over here, I just have a bunch of works in progress. Charcuterie boards, personalized. It still has the haze, it still has to go through the sanding process. Beautiful. Beautiful Christmas gifts. They are gorgeous, yeah. And there's all sorts of different ways that you can, the family name with a monogram or oh, just I the name. Yeah. One of my Lake boards. Those which are I, so cool. I just can see people really loving that. Like for so many cottage people, especially now so many people have bought cottages even this year. Like oh yeah. A great like way to come on Beautiful. And also I was saying with my Scrabble. So you have different, you can go with different stains. Very nice. Doing some in white. I do an awful lot of Scrabble boards. I produce them in two different sizes with three and a half inch tiles and five and a half inch tiles. And there's also options to customize them with stain and different paints. And you can go from just a nice couple of names crisscross and I've done as many as 12 names, oh, okay. which makes for a very large piece. Yeah. But it's definitely a nice conversation piece. It's beautiful for a family room or something like that, right? And just like Yep, I'm provided with the names. I have a little program that I punch them all into and gives me a bunch of options. I send them out to the clients so that they want a wider one, if they want a taller one, they have their options so that it fits their space. So not only do you do sort of these you know, smaller decorative items or the charcuterie boards, you also do furniture, right? Yeah, I do a lot of small coffee tables, end tables, little wine bars. A lot of times I actually repurpose table leg that I find, I'll search marketplace and find an old table and bring some new life to it. Remove the old top and put a nice river top on it. Just brings new life. They're very beautiful. It's not just like the table, it's a conversation piece, right? Like oh. they're, it's an art piece. Most definitely. Yeah, very beautiful. And also totally customizable. I get people who say, I like this type of wood. I'd like this color. You have lots of options. Oh, wow. so it's Most definitely. Lovely. Are these candle holders? Those are for essential oils. I've had a lot of people asking for essential oil holders oh, okay. for their bottles. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, they turn out pretty nice. It's a display piece oh, for, that. yeah. That's awesome. This is like a wine rack? Yep, that's another wine rack. That's a wrought iron. Is this a repurposed piece? Yep, that is repurposed. I found that at a garage sale in the summer and it's one of my favorite pieces. It all suits itself, it complements each other. Matthew, 
thank you so much for the giveaway. This is an amazing giveaway. Tell me a little bit what's in here. What can people see in here? We have two of our 2020 ornaments, the Christmas 2020 and our other COVID related ornament, plus a snowman ornament and a couple pairs of our laser cut earrings. This has been awesome. Thank you so much for showing me all of your beautiful work and how it's made. It was really cool. How can people get in touch with you if they want to order some of your beautiful items? Well, you could follow me on Instagram. It's burnt underscore vibes. And you can search me on Facebook, burnt vibes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for coming into my home and showing my wares.